What's going to happen if you have an object with an overall positive charge of positive 1 come into contact with another object with an overall negative charge of negative 1? The numbers don't matter, but if 1 is positive and 1 is negative, you know that opposites attract. The Coulomb force of the electric force is millions of times stronger than gravity. Anytime you have opposite charges, it's going to attract. They are going to come together and stay together. They are going to be bonded together, and that's called an ionic bond. And when you have the sodium come into contact with this chlorine, it's going to make sodium chloride, which is table salt. We're going to talk a lot about this later. This is not a lesson in, in formation of, of compounds, but this is what's happening. The sodium uh, loses an electron to become positively charged. The chlorine gains an electron to become negatively charged. And then once you have these oppositely charged ions, they come together and they stick, which we call a bond and we call it an ionic bond. Now you know why it's called an ionic bond. Because the objects formed ions, and then they bonded. Ionic bond. Electron transfer. We said before, ionic bond means electron transfer. Notice that if this chlorine really wants to gain an electron, and this sodium really wants to lose an electron, then what's going to happen is the electron is going to be transferred from here to here. And then once the transfer happens, we have the ions, and then they stick together. And that's called an ionic bond. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.